A lot of people ask the same question when they walk into the building, how come you have a large, empty green space in there? And really, it's, it's been there for quite a while. It was actually here before we moved into this building, but we've worked hard to keep it here because it's a reminder for us of what kind of industry that we're in and what our vision and our core principles are. And that's to be very strongly earth friendly. As we started considering how to, to green up our business, make it more environmentally sustainable, it was really important that just a few of us at the top level really went out and engaged all of our team members, all of our people over a series of not days, not weeks, but months on why we were going to do what we were going to do and what it meant to them. So you have to have buy-in at the top and, and a long-term strategy, and I think that this is where a lot of people have a struggle with it. You can't be the fad of the week or the fad of a quarter. And what happens when you're doing that, though, the, the beautiful thing is that it's those team members, the employees, that start coming up with all the solutions. But sitting in a large meeting, we're talking about green and environmental initiatives and sustainability, and our IT systems analyst folds her arms, looks at me and says to me, then how come we still have disposable coffee cups in the office? We got rid of them the following day. We went to ceramic cups so that, that are washed, et cetera. We got rid of bottled water within, within the building. We took some of the low level stuff to, to gain interest from our team members. So we've also looked at any technology, whether it's lighting, flooring, as things become obsolete or worn out within our organization to replace it with new generation of materials that are better environmentally. We think that we've got certain things figured out, but when we pull it back a little bit, um, we find out that there's a better new practice. So what we know right now is that whether it's packaging, whether it's business model, whether it's the type of vehicles that we drive, um, whatever's really good today as best, best practices is probably gonna change in the next 90, 120, 180, or 360 days. So we're constantly looking what the next evolution is to keep ourselves out as leaders within the industry.